Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned, you know, you know, what are the preprocessor directives and we have learned about the hash include preprocessor directive. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about another preprocessor directive which is available in C++ and it is called hash define. You know this has different preprocessor directive defines an identifier and a character sequence you know that character sequence will be substituted for the identifier each time it is encountered in the source file the identifier that we can define is also referred to as the macro name and the character sequence or the replacement for that identifier is called as the macro replacement so first of all what is a macro a macro is nothing but a fragment of code in you know, which is given some name so here the identifier that we're gonna define let's say country you know anything you know this identifier is called as the macro name and the character sequence that is used to substitute this identifier is called as the macro replacement let's say India so now you know whenever I use this identifier country in our program you know this character sequence will be replaced and also I told that you know you know this identifier is called as a macro name and a macro is nothing but a fragment of code which has given a name and uh, you know there are two types of macros so one is called function type macros another one is called object type macros so we're gonna learn about the function type macros in the next tutorial and here you know this type of macros are called as the object type macros because you know they look like a object okay now just to demonstrate you know whenever we use this identifier in our program or this macro name in our program you know the character sequence or this macro replacement will be replaced here in my program I'm gonna use see out and I just gonna say I'm living in the country and then I'm gonna refer to that macro country so it's gonna be C O U N T R Y country and add the semicolon and build and run this and you guys can see I'm living in the country India so now if I change this one to Africa you know it returns that one build and run it again you know Africa so whatever we have written here the character sequence you know that will be replaced whenever this macro name is encountered so the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you know it might not be a character sequence here we can have a number for example let's say one and I can define one and also you know we can use this macro to define another macro for example let's say has defined two and it's gonna be one plus one and if I want I can define another one called three and it's gonna be two plus one all right so here you know whenever we refer to this macros you know the macro names you know this macro definition will be replaced so here if I refer to uh, three at that time what happens is you know it's gonna replace it with two plus one and again that two will be replaced with one plus one and again that one will be replaced with one so here it's gonna be one plus one plus one all right now I'm gonna build and run this and now we get three so another thing is you know if your macro definition exceeds more than one line for example let's say welcome you know our welcome message and here let's say it's gonna exceed more than one line let's say hello everyone welcome to and then uh, let's say we want to go to the next line at that time we can use a backslash and write it in the next line the learning lad video tutorials and again if you want to go to the next line you guys can use the backslash and I'm gonna add tutorials all right now if I refer to this welcome you know if I build and run this we get hello everyone welcome to the learning lad video tutorials 
all right and another thing is you know normally people use the capital letters to you know define the identifier or the macro name so this is it guys this is about something on the hash defined preprocessor directive which is available in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial